When it comes to handsome hunks in Hollywood, most of them share a single name, and that is Chris. Chris Evans, Chris Pratt, Chris Pine, and Chris Hemsworth. That's what our show is about today. We're gonna determine a winner, the best Chris of the bunch. It's Captain America versus Captain Kirk versus Star-Lord versus Thor. Yes, they all work out. I'm muscular. But who are you kidding, Quill? You're one sandwich away from fat. Here's how the show works. Round number one, box office. Round number two, tomato meter. Round number three, best franchises. And we'll have a wild card round that even I don't know about as I did not study my notes. I'm from Earth, I'm from Missouri. Yeah, that's on Earth, dipshit. Round one, box office. What's incredible about Club Chris is that all these lads have an average box office draw well north of $100 million per movie. They're so far north, they're seeing White Walkers. It's from the show. Beefing up that number is, of course, their various franchise endeavors like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Star Trek, and Jurassic Park. So while Chris Pratt leads all the fellas with $3.7 billion in total grosses, it's Chris Hemsworth who ekes out the best average movie take with $186.6 million to Chris Pratt's just trailing $185.2 million. The bronze medalist in both categories is Chris Evans, and Chris Pine brings up the very chiseled rear with $2.2 billion overall and a healthy $124 million average per movie. So Pine is obviously at a disadvantage because he's not in the MCU, and domestically his highest grossing Star Trek film, the first J.J. Abrams reboot, that also counts for Chris Hemsworth. So despite box office duds like In the Heart of the Sea and Black Hat, I like both of those. Chris Hemsworth is the one that impresses me the most. It was a photo finish between him and the Raptor trainer, but I'm giving this round to the son of Odin. Yes! Round number two, Tomato Meter. Okay, so our movies are making plenty of bread. That's a given. But which Chris is actually pumping out the most quality content? Look, I made a shrimp claw. Now, you might think that the MCU click has the advantage, but get this. None of the Marvel Chris's have one of those films as their highest rated on Rotten Tomatoes. Chris Evans has Snowpiercer, awesome train movie. Chris Pratt has the Lego movie, awesome is the trademark. And Chris Hemsworth has, you guessed it, Star Trek. Star Trek, he was in it for like nine seconds. Bruce Greenwood is quoted in the movie is saying to Chris Pine, your father was the captain of the Enterprise for like three minutes or something. Uh, your father was captain of a starship for 12 minutes. So while Hemsworth has the best tomato meter average of all the Chris's, let's take a look at Chris Pine's resume. He has twin 97% with Heller High Water and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Not to mention, he's had to make choices that don't automatically pad his stats. He doesn't get the MCU benefit. He doesn't have an Infinity War or a Ragnarok or a Guardians. And as such, he stars in four of the top 10 tomato meter films of all the Chris's that are not based on comic books or franchises. Hell or High Water, Stretch, Unstoppable, and Z for Zachariah. Well, that's neat. Chris Pratt puts up the best fight here as he was also a part of three Best Picture nominees, Moneyball, Zero Dark Thirty, and Her. But he wasn't the center of any of them. Yikes. So Chris Pratt, thanks for helping us cap Bin Laden, but this round goes to Jimmy Tiberius Kirk, Chris Pine. Not perfect, but, 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 but damn near close. Round number three, Best Franchises. Well, okay, that's enough non-franchise talk. Look, I love range when it comes to an actor, and all these boys have it, but can you extend that acting range into multiple billion dollar franchises? Like, if Stan Lee or dinosaurs want you in their movies, can you deliver the goods? Chris Hemsworth can, if it's in the MCU. We all love Thor, but we love him more when he's sharing screen time with Hulk. So like Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, he has also had a trilogy of Captain America films, plus he injected some life into those Fantastic Four flicks. It's clobbering time. I'm sure the cast and crew of those movies thought, you know, someday we're gonna be used as a tiebreaker in a Rotten Tomatoes vid. Dream achieved, Fantastic Four. Chris Pine is carrying the water for the Star Trek franchise, but its future is in limbo. What? So this round is gonna be all about Chris Pratt. No way! You are! Oh, man! Yes, we love him as Star-Lord, he's great as the Raptor Trainer in the Jurassic Park movies, and he puts together one hell of a Lego set. It always seems like Chris Pratt is the name who surfaces for any new or rebooted franchise attempt. Cowboy Ninja Viking? Give me Pratt. Indiana Jones? Somebody page Chris. James Bond? Should probably call Idris Elba. I don't know what you're saying. And now we come to the wild card round. Who saves the day the most? Now I'll be honest with y'all, I wanted this round to be all about awards. Who's won the most Academy Awards? None of them. 
Who's been nominated for the most Academy Award? Again, none of them. <sighs> Who's won the most Teen Choice Awards? Well, actually, they've all won it. Thank you, Nickelodeon. You're the one channel left that isn't afraid to slime its stars. We're safe. Pratt, Hemsworth, and Pine all played heroes that saved the day. Pratt saves humans, raccoons, and ancient species. Thor saved his people from the destruction of their home planet Asgard. And Kirk saves the crew and sometimes the fated entire solar systems. And then obviously Captain America. He's just a rutted up runt from Brooklyn who saves all of us. I could do this all day. So we're tied. So now we go to the real life heroes. Chris Pratt played one of the soldiers who got Osama. Chris Pine played a brave sea captain in Finest Hours. And Chris Hemsworth starred as one of the horse soldiers in 12 Strong. These are all good pictures, but in real, real reality life, Chris Evans did save the day for Regina King at the Oscars. Remember, she's going to accept a reward and the dress is making it cumbersome. Who lends a hand? The nice guy who's always Instagramming about his cute puppy, Chris Evans. Evans is gonna get the win here because he saves the day a ton and he doesn't have that brain fart moment like Thor, Kirk, or Star-Lord did. Let's go girls, let's go girls! So for me, the overall win is gonna go to, I'm gonna go Chris Hemsworth. I knew that was gonna happen. Big mistake. What the f man? I was gonna go Pratt because he can do everything, action, drama, comedy, but I'm still upset about the Thanos thing. We had him. But hey, I look at the Chris's like they're my children. I love them all equally. So now it's your turn. Vote in the comment section right now. We're gonna be checking the comments to see which Chris takes the belt. Whoever it is, I'm sure that belt's a size 32 waist. The gold standard. Someday, Mark. Someday. We'll have the results in a future episode. And until then, I'm Mark Ellison. I also frequently Instagram my dog that I share with my ex-girlfriend. You hear that, Chris Evans? You want to be friends? Follow back?